I'm Olivia Bonovaznenko for Modern Wall Street. And look who we found coming out of the New York Stock Exchange. It's Stephen Guilfoyle. Hey, Sarge, how's it going? Olivia, going pretty well. How about yourself? It's great. I like our change of atmosphere out here. And we're all excited for Janet Yellen to finally speak tomorrow in Jackson Hole. They're already gathered there. Has anything leaked yet? No, nothing's leaked yet. You know, what, what's interesting here, yes, the markets, all markets, treasury markets, currency markets, equity markets, we've all been looking forward to this speech as what's going to move the needle, and it, and it very well may. But if you look a little past this speech, on Monday we have the PCE price index, and next Friday is Jobs Day. Now, what do you think is going to impact Janet Yellen's thinking on monetary policy more? What she knows now? or what she'll know after she sees a couple of big numbers on inflation and jobs. So, yeah, it's going to matter. It's going to move the markets tomorrow, most likely, at least in knee-jerk fashion, and then we'll see how the rest of the day plays out. But it would be better to talk to her after next week than it would be tomorrow. That's a good point. Now, there's a lot of terms being thrown around ahead of tomorrow. One of them is fed up. Can you explain that to me? It's a group of activists. I mean, who isn't fed up with the Federal Reserve Bank? I, I'm not a big fan of theirs either. But these, these activists, they have a number of issues, including transparency, diversity, a number that some people like myself could even get behind. But they're also a little bit left-leaning. I, you know, I think it's good that the Fed is put in an uncomfortable position and they have to answer questions, no matter who's asking the questions, even if it's some people I don't completely agree with on everything. But we do have to make them more accountable. And if Fed Up thinks that maybe bankers shouldn't serve on regional Fed boards, Maybe they shouldn't. I don't know. It's something we should look at at least and come to a decision that's that a public decision, I think, that uh, more people have can ha express an interest on than just the people who do run the Federal Reserve Bank. Right. And there's another term that's being thrown around that Janet Yellen is divorcing the markets. Have you heard that one? I know what it means. I don't think I don't know if I've actually heard it. But I mean, if if the Fed has been given their marching orders to raise interest rates by the people who own the Fed, by the banks of this country, then they're going to have to justify it. And the, the economic data of late has been one way good, one way another. Yesterday, existing home sales report just after new home sales were very interesting. Retail sales were poor in the last report, but industrial production was good. This morning, durable, home, uh, durable goods orders were hot. Core capital goods were hot. So we have a number of things going in the right direction, but then all of our August manufacturing data has been weak. So. Who knows? Is it better than it was? Yes, it's definitely. Things are definitely better than they were. I do think they should disassociate themselves from the market somewhat. As an economist, I say that. As a trader, I got to think differently. So, uh, yeah, what it comes down to is you hope they make the right decisions for the country, for the economy. But as a trader, as someone who ex exists in this economy and in these markets, you have to try to excel in your environment. Well, that's good advice. You should be a market marriage counselor. That should be your new term. Well, thank you so much, Stephen. We will look out for tomorrow, and I'll see you next week. Ah, the pleasure's all mine. Thank you.